Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of the Pen Nook. In today's video, we're going to be unboxing one of this year's limited edition Lamy Safari. This is the Savannah Green. There's also another version called Terra Red if you prefer a warmer color. In my case, the green one is really my favorite color. I've been wanting a, an olive green Safari for a while with black trim. And so when this year, when they came out with this version, I was very happy and Sia gave this pen to me as a gift. So I'm going to be sharing this pen, uh, I mean this unboxing with you guys so you can see uh, if you like the color, maybe if you would like the pen for yourself and how it compares to other Lamy Safaris as far as colors go. So you have your typical uh, paper uh, Lamy box in the back it says uh, Lamy.com made in Germany and of course this is uh, Gummund paper like always in front simple, it simply says Lamy. I mean to open it, very simple, little tab here. And when you pull out the pen, it comes clipped onto a piece of paper. Like this. So simply pull onto the, the pen and remove the paper. And there you go, you have your Lamy Safari. So I'm gonna be providing some close-up shots uh, further down the video so you can really grasp uh, the color and the tones of this uh, beautiful pen. So it's your typical uh, Safari, of course, but it has black trim, so black clip, a black nib. Here the ring is also black. And uh, in this case, it's already inked. I used my Lamy converter with some German ink, but not Lamy ink. I chose an ink to complement the color. And it's the Graf von Faber-Castell um, Olive Green. So beautiful ink with this um, beautiful green pen. So if we go into some comparisons, just with some other Lamy uh, Safari pens, maybe some other limited editions, so you can compare. So here we have the all black. Let's have here the petrol one here. So you see these uh, kind of dark matte tones, they really go well together. Here you have your Typical Safari, just bright red, and why not some limited edition from the previous year. So you see, this pen really goes well with the all black and the petrol. And I'm going to be zooming in. Let's try to zoom in, and focus, and give you some closer shots of the colors. So of course, it has black trim like these other have. And a beautiful, beautiful pen. Oh wow, here, we're missing the Lamy logo. There we go, much better. So yeah, beautiful pen. And uh, as you would expect, it comes with your typical Lamy steel nib. In my case, I chose a fine one, but of course you can swap it with other Lamy you have, other Lamy pens you have. Uh, just keep in mind that this is a black version of the nib, so uh, if you swap it with other pens that have your chrome version, it will not look as good, right? So keep that in mind. If you want to keep uh, the black aesthetic of your pen, make sure to choose the nib you really want when you buy it, or maybe have some uh, other Lamy Safaris with black nibs around, so you can easily switch the nib if you don't like it. Uh, now let's go into some uh, close-up shots and writing samples. Again, this is going to be quite a short video because this is such a well-known pen. I don't think you really want to see a 30-minute video about a Lamy Safari. This is more um, just to give you a quick overview of the pen and how it compares to other editions of the Lamy Safari and how the color looks really because when such a popular pen has a new limited edition, the question is not really, is it a good pen? Because of course, we already, already know the pen is more do I like the color. So this is what this is what I want to provide you guys with in today's video. So without further ado, let's switch to some close-up shots and writing samples.
All right. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this footage helped you decide if you want the Savannah Green or maybe you prefer another color or maybe you're good. You have already too many uh, safaris, but to be honest, I don't think there's such a thing, right? So uh, until next time, have a great day and see you next time on the Pennook.